To edit text, simply click on the text and the Properties panel will slide in from the right to provide all the usual edit controls. You can hide and show the side panel by clicking the controls icon on the top bar here, or by swiping right to hide it. The text controls include all the usual bold, italic, etc. here. Simply select the text and then click on the relevant control or use the normal keyboard shortcut like Ctrl B for bold. You can select text in the normal ways. Click drag over the text, double click to select a word and triple click to select the whole line. This yellow high icon will add a background to your text to highlight it like this. To change the colour of the highlight, click here and then choose a colour. To remove the background colour, select this No Colour patch. There is a list of predefined text styles here. These are just like those in any word processor. Paragraph styles, shown with this symbol, always affect the whole paragraph. Fonts and styles are covered in a separate video. This link icon will offer you the option to link to a web or email address and you can select how you want the linked page to appear. Or you can link to another page. I'll add this link to a web page and I'll open it in a new window. To exit, select this back arrow. Click on your linked text and you will see where it links to with the option to change it or delete it. The text and background colours are controlled here. This shows the colours available in this document. Just click on the relevant patch to make a change. See the video about editing colours. You have the normal alignment controls for your text. Aligned left, centred, aligned right and justified. You can create a list by selecting your text and then clicking on the bulleted or numbered icon. Or click on the bullet and then create your list like this. Likewise, select the indent and outdent to move your text in or out. To create a sublist, simply select one or more of the bulleted points and click on the indent. If you wish to add a new column of text, simply select the plus at the top here and then select the text object and you will be presented with a range of text column objects to choose from. To move a text object, just drag on the outline here or you can click on the outline to select the whole text item and you get a menu so you can delete the whole item or make a copy. You can adjust the column width by dragging on the side handles. The editor supports a wide range of key shortcuts. You can find the list under the settings menu here. Zara Online Designer is evolving continually with new features, so you may find some that I have not mentioned.